This problem refers to a measurement of wood or a measurement of wood piles called a cord. If you've ever walked near someone's yard and seen these neatly stacked piles of wood like this, uh, that's what they're called. Those are called cords of wood. Or more specifically, uh, a single cord of wood that is tightly packed together in a nice dense little pile like this. Uh, the specific dimensions for a single cord are given as 8 feet long, 4 feet high, and 4 feet wide. Now this question asks us to find how many cords are in 1 cubic meter. Now we are given these three dimensions of the pile of wood individually, and we're asked to compare it to this cubed unit of volume here. So first, let's actually find the volume of this one cord of wood. So, of course, let's use our typical uh, formula for the volume of a rectangular prism, which is what we're going to be assuming that this pile is, considering the fact that we have uh, the length and the width and the height of this cord. So let's take the volume by multiplying these three dimensions together. All right, so let's take the volume of this and multiplying the three dimensions together, multiplying uh, 8 feet times 4 feet times 4 feet, we get a volume of the cord of 128 cubic feet. So that is going to be the volume of a single cord of wood. Now, although this is a measurement of volume, just like uh, the one meter cubed, the units themselves are different. That's uh, given to us in meters cubed, and we have the cord in feet cubed. So we'll want to find uh, a conversion between these two so that we'll have the units match up. So as we know, in one meter is uh, one meter is equal to three point two eight one feet. Uh, so that's the basic conversion factor here. But because we're dealing with volume rather than length, we'll have to cube both sides of this conversion here so that uh, we'll be able to actually use this conversion in our problem. All right, and cubing both sides of this formula, we have, well, the meter cubed, uh, one cubed is still one. So that value doesn't change, but now we're dealing with a, a cubic unit here. Now we went from meters to meters cubed. And 3.281 cubed then becomes 35.3198 cubic feet. So now we have an actual conversion factor here between a cubic meter and this many cubic feet. So now uh, the meat and potatoes of the question asks us how many of these cords are actually in a single cubic meter. So now that we have the conversion factor here, now that we know that 35 point blah 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 cubic feet are effectively the same thing as a cubic meter, we want to know how many of these instances, you could call them, of 128 feet cubed are going to be in uh, the 35 cubic feet. So to do this, let's just uh, take on a similar approach as to uh, previous problems. Let's call this, let's call the value that we're looking for n, the number of cords within a cubic meter. And uh, we're looking for how many of the cords are in the meter. So let's put the cubic meter on the top of our uh, expression here. So let's say 35.3198 cubic feet and divide that by the number of cubic feet in a cord. So let's divide this whole thing by 128 cubic feet. And plugging this into our calculator, we get an answer of 0 0.275936. So that many chords inside a cubic meter. Now, of course, finally, as usual, there is the matter of rounding off to the proper number of significant figures. Now, in, in a case of a problem like this, it's a little bit trickier to determine what counts towards the significant figures and what doesn't. 
because uh, we're technically given all the dimensions of the chord in one significant figure, but because these are given as the definition of a chord, uh, and there's and as such, there's no uncertainty attached to them. These sort values sort of don't really count when it comes to calculating significant figures. And honestly, you could argue that the same thing sort of applies to the cubic meter, because even though the question writes it as 1.0 cubic meters, because the question doesn't present this value as being the result of taking data or the result of a measurement, we can sort of ignore the point zero at the end of that. So for the purposes of this question, let's just assume that everything is going to be rounded off to a single significant figure. And let's rewrite this as about 0.3 chords. And that will be our true final answer for the number of chords in a cubic meter.